We are continuing our coverage of this breaking news now regarding the case of Marine widow Cynthia Summer. A judge has granted a motion to dismiss murder charges against Summer that was filed in Superior Court by San Diego County District Attorney Bonnie DeManis today. Her attorney, Alan Bloom, is standing by now. Uh, Mr. Bloom, have you ever seen anything like this before? Well, Stan, one thing should be really clear. The first thing that should be said on this matter is that no one should say that this system worked. Justice was done in this case, but it wasn't because of the effort of the prosecution. It was despite the effort of the prosecution. So yes, I've seen this happen before. In fact, I've seen it happen in this county before, where an overzealous prosecution goes forward and only gets dismissed by a fluke. It happened some 10 years ago involving an officer who was killed, where only because of uh, the fact that the district attorney's investigator, uh, I mean, a witness was taken out by the district attorney's investigator and had sex in the district attorney's office, and there happened to be a photograph of it. All, sad, all too sadly, uh, Stan, that there has been a pattern of this in this county. This is evidence which was absolutely available to the prosecution, exonerating evidence, proving that Cindy Summer is not guilty, proving that Todd Summer did not die from arsenic and that the original evaluation, which was that he died from natural causes, is exactly true. The prosecution didn't do the effort to look for it, and, now and that's you, a mistake. And now, as you point out, it's a complete 180, because the original case hinged on the fact that they argued that she poisoned him with arsenic, and, and in fact, there was none found in his system now. This seems almost ludicrous. It would be, wouldn't, it would be ludicrous, it would be almost whimsical, Barbara, if it wasn't for the fact that Cindy Summers, a young widow, whose husband died, was taken out away from her four children and stuck in a cell somewhere in East County right now as a result of the prosecution's efforts. She's been in there two years and four months, an innocent young woman. Well, Alan, Nothing what is ludicrous your... about that. Yeah, yeah that, that is very sad. That, that, that is a tragedy, uh, being away from her children, uh, especially during the time of grief, now that we know that she uh, it was not uh, murder. Um, what is the next step now for you? What is the next step now for Cynthia Summer? Why are we doing this at 5 o'clock at night, at 5.50? Because the prosecution made an effort to hide this. They called me at 4.15 to say we're going to rush to court to go forward with this, and then presented a document, a document which they say uh, uh, sh presents them in the positive light of why they're doing their job. And in fact, they said it at this late hour so there wouldn't be publicity about it. And this document is full of inaccuracies and lies. They attempted to try to cover themselves so in fact they can show, but it wasn't really their fault. And as soon as they found out about the innocence of, it, of Cindy, they went ahead and dismissed it. That's not the case. They found out about it because we demanded they get the evidence. Then they find uh, that this evidence is innocent. And four and a half years after the prosecution put a witch hunt on Cynthia Summers, then they go ahead and dismiss the case. Alan, now comes the question of justice for Cynthia Summer. What comes next? Well, she's going to get out of jail tonight. I don't even know if Cindy knows about this. She might right now be listening to my words and for the very first time be hearing the fact that she's getting out of jail. I'm not sure. I wasn't able to reach her. I reached her, her cousin Todd Tice and his wife Carol, who have been the best of supporters uh, throughout this entire ordeal, and all the other people that have supported her. But we haven't been able to get to, to talk to Cindy yet. I'll meet her at the jail today when she's released, because Judge Einhorn ordered her release this evening. All right. Alan Bloom, thank you so much, and we'll be talking to you, I'm sure, in coming days.